Grand Steer Hall. The ceremonial entrance to the Civic Centre is identified by two cast aluminium doors. Entering through to the lobby, with walls faced in otter stone and floor of Verde Vienna marble, the entrance hall gives access to the banqueting hall, council chambers and various rooms and suites. Rising through three floors in height, the grand entrance hall gives a sense of awe as one enters. An 11-tiered crystal chandelier made up of 56 castellated cups with prismatic drops and spikes, finished at the bottom with four seahorses, hangs impressively in a large space. The grand stair, carpeted in red with marble margins and mahogany and aluminium handrails, leads councillors to the first floor gallery with access to committee rooms and function rooms and directly to the council chamber lobby. With a Verde Patrica marble floor, hide panelled walls raised above the floor level to avoid scuffing and a marble ceiling, the council chamber lobby continues the rich use of finishes which is a hallmark of the civic centre ceremonial entrance. Access to the members' telephones in a press box is gained from the lobby. The press box, which overlooks the council chamber to the rear, has room for up to seven reporters. Panelled in Sierra Tan Hyde, it has two telephone booths for use by the press. Forming an ellipse, the council chamber, as in the rest of the civic centre, has grand proportions. 21 metres wide and 20 metres long, the tiered room comfortably accommodates 149 large seats. Natural light flows in through a large central eye-shaped window 12 metres above the chamber floor with smaller sources of artificial light radiating from it. The chamber is designed to be acoustically pleasing with acoustic plaster and cedar of lemon panelling which lines the walls and doors of the chamber, dispersing the sound and giving a rich textured surface to the room.